Hey guys, how you doing? So, I was out for one of my long walks today, and I addressed a comment that was made under one of my YouTube videos about learning React, where somebody attempted to learn React and failed miserably, and then they did something to, uh, to make learning React much, much easier. So I'm going to jump into the email, and uh, so let me know what do you think about these... Um, these vlogs, I suppose, these educational talks where I do it uh, while I'm doing one of my long walks. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye. Hey guys, how are you? So this is a video about learning React. So this is a post I got from somebody on uh, YouTube. So let me read. A long time ago, I tried to learn React after two, three months of JavaScript and I didn't get a thing. So I took a break from programming for a few months thinking I was too dumb to code. Then I spent about nine months or so doing vanilla PHP and JS building things from scratch. And one day I decided to revisit React because I needed a job and I managed to pick, it, pick up the basics in about a day. A day. So this uh, goes to something I've been talking about for a long time now. I always talk about the importance of learning the basics. The key to everything is in the basics. This is nothing special to coding and development. The key to mastering any subject, whether it be coding, whether it be business, whether it be basketball, jujitsu, whatever it is, it's always in the basics. Concentrate on the basics. When you're younger, we all do this. I made that mistake as well. You erroneous think that to get ahead, to get there quicker, because we're all pretty impatient, to get there quicker, the key, people think wrongly, is to jump ahead. So if you want to become a React developer, for whatever reasons, you decide, well, I'm just going to learn React. Now, learning React without understanding the foundations, the basics of web development, so that means HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, learning to put up websites, etc. If you don't understand that, understanding React is going to be a disaster for you. You just won't get it. You just won't get it. You have to study the basics first. And that's not the slow way. That's the fast way. The slow way is to jump into React first without having learned your fundamentals and you're just not going to succeed. As I said, this applies to any discipline. If you want to become uh, proficient in BJJ, you want to become an MMA fighter, you want to be good at MMA, again, don't try to jump ahead. The, the analogy I like to make or the joke I like to make is, I would say, if you want to become a pro fighter, you don't want to jump in the ring day one with Mike Tyson, right? You want to start with somebody a little bit easier. You want to start with your basics. When I was learning how to box back in the day, that's what the coach would do. The coach would have us concentrate on the fundamentals. Once we got our fundamentals down, basic body mechanics, basic being able to shoot the basic punches, etc., basic movement, then we would get in the ring right away. So getting in the ring when it comes to coding and development is actually building real projects. The biggest mistake you can make is getting caught up in tutorial hell where you are uh, continuously doing more tutorials and more tutorials and more tutorials. The worst thing you can do to yourself is to try to walk into a job interview just showing tutorial projects that you've built. Oh, I did this, uh, this course here and we built a Twitter clone or I did this course here and we built uh, blah, 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 blah. This is the worst thing. Why? Because when you are a pro developer, a big part of the job is being able to interact with other people. Being able to interact with other people means interpersonal skills, right? Be able to communicate succinctly, to the point, have empathy for people around you. I know this sounds weird. You think, ah, I just want to be a coder. When, you're, when you are a coder, you are communicating with people you are talking to them, whether it be your clients, coworkers, the boss, you're communicating some pretty complex ideas. And so if you can't communicate well, you can't get to the point, eh, you're not gonna be too good. You're not gonna do too good. You're not gonna be a very good developer. The second thing that recruiters look for in prospects when they're looking to hire somebody is whether or not they can communicate well, whether they got good soft skills, good interpersonal skills. This is so important that I built an entire module 
for my mentoring program just on that. This is a fundamentals course on how your emotional side works, how your lizard brain works. You learn the operating systems of your brain. Once you understand that operating system, the rules of your emotional self, what, what are the rules? What are the parameters in which uh, your brain functions? Everybody's brains function, by the way. You can then leverage that understanding to have huge, profound impacts uh, on your behavior. And this goes directly to communication skills, soft skills, uh, being empathetic towards others. Huge advantage. One question I get a lot is, how do you become a senior developer? What do you need to do? Well, the difference between the senior and the junior developer, a big part of it is in the soft skills, in the communication skills. Yes, you have to be a good coder. You have to know how to write clean code, how to organize your code, how to refactor well. You have to understand the basic design patterns. You have to understand the fundamentals really well. Uh, but you also need those interpersonal skills as well. You need that ability to communicate because the lead developer, they're leading other people, right? They're showing people the way, they're guiding them. And if you can't guide people in a, an effective way, they're not gonna be a good leader and you're not gonna be a good lead developer. So that's a, a big part of it. Anyway, going back to that uh, post, if you want to learn React, because you've heard that there are lots of React jobs, by the way, there's tons of other jobs and other development. Uh, but also, by the way, when you become a pro developer, the, uh, the technology that you work with becomes almost secondary. So you may get your first job as a web developer. You may end up being doing React for a little while, but you're going to find as you become more senior, as you become more experienced, the technology that you work with becomes less and less of an issue. It is common for professional developers to learn this and to learn that and to do this and to do that. And it becomes easier and easier and easier as you become more experienced. There you go, guys. That's pretty much it. I'm wearing my hat because uh, I've learned as an old man, you got to protect your face and your skin from the sun. Uh, wearing a hat is better than sunscreen. And uh, you don't want to get the skin cancer as you get older, right? Also, when you take too much sun, it makes you look like an old leather bag in time. So we don't want to look like old leather bags, right? Anyhow, there you go. You have any questions about anything I talk about, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you hate my hat, give me two thumbs down. And if you are a Ruby developer, you got to drop that. It's not a good choice.